Hey, welcome to Stack Courses. This is Bracket Kindo. In this video, I will go through an example of join probability mass function of two random variables. The intent of this video is to review joint probability mass functions with an example. This example uses a football or soccer data. I, I encourage you to watch the lesson that introduced the concept of joint probability mass functions of two discrete random vectors. I will put a link to that. Suppose the random variable x, capital X, represents the number of goals scored by the home team in the English Premier League. Okay, imagine that as the final score. Home game number of goals is represented by the random variable x. By the way, the English Premier League is the top level of English football league system. By home team, I mean the team playing in their own stadium. Okay, let the random variable Y, capital Y, now represents the number of goals scored by the team playing away by the end of regulation, away from their own stadium. You can view the distribution of goals by the home team and the distribution of goals by the away team separately. Here's the probability mass function of the random variable x, which is the number of goals scored by the home team. Sometimes you can write probability mass functions of discrete random variables using a table like this. And sometimes you can visually see it. Visually, the larger the probability of observing a given value, the taller the line representing the mass at that specific point, as you can see on this plot. The probability of a home team scoring one is the tallest point mass. Similarly, you can have the probability masses displayed visually for the random variable y. Remember, random variable y represents the number of goals scored by the away team. You can have a table representing the PMF, you can also have a visual representation of PMF of the random variable y. Here's a side-by-side -side view of the probability mass function, PMF, of the random variable x on the left and the PMF of the random variable y on the right. Now let's get to joint PMF. Of course, you can view the distribution of goals by the home team and the distribution of the goals by the away team, the two random variables, separately. However, you uncover more interesting insights by analyzing how these two random variables behave jointly. Here's a table that has the joint PMF, the joint probability mass function of these two random variables. Each cell in this table represents the joint probability of observing a specific value little x and some specific value little y. Remember here, I'm using so little x and little y to represent observations or realizations of the random variables capital X and capital Y. For example, the highlighted cell is the joint probability that X takes a value of two and the random variable Y takes a value of zero. That is the probability that the home team wins with a score, with a final score of two to zero. That joint probability is equal to 0 0.1158. Another joint probability example that I have highlighted now is probability of x equals 1 and y equals 3, which equals 0 0.0368. That is the joint probability of a home team scoring one goal and an away team scoring three goals. And that probability is less than the joint probability of a home team scoring two goals and an away team scoring zero goals that we had just seen earlier. That means there is a larger probability mass at x equal to comma y equals zero compared to the point one comma three or x equals one comma y equals three. We can graphically display the joint probability mass function of two random variables. Let's see, let's try to do that. Since the number of dimension has increased by one compared to the one variable, the univariate random variable case, we now have to do it using a three-dimensional plot. All right, this is the plot. And on the x-axis, you have home team goals. On, on the y-axis, you have away team goals. And then these 
vertical lines that are standing on some specific points are the probability masses for those points, the joint probability mass functions for those points. Here's another plot without having the, the boundaries or the, the labels. All right, exercise. Using this example, what is the probability that the home team wins? So the home team wins if the random variable x, which is the, the goals scored by the home team, is greater than the random variable y, the, school, the, the goals scored by the away team. When you see from this table, the diagonal entries are the draws or where the home team and the away team actually scored equal number of goals. The cells at the bottom left of the diagonal, of the bottom left, are, are where you know the home team scored more goals than the away team. That means the home team wins. Those are the probabilities we want to add up. So when you add those up, you will get a value equal to 0 0.4755. Another ex exercise. What is the probability that an away team wins? The away team wins if y takes values greater than capital, uh, capital X. Those are the off-diagonal entries of this table on the upper right corner. When you add all those probabilities, you get a value equal to 0 0.3372. And finally, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to give you the answer to this, but I would like you to put it in the comments if you can. What is the probability that a home team scores at least one goal more than the away team. So X, the home team score, is one at least one more than Y. And that is the probability I would like you to find. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, come back for more videos like this and feel free to subscribe and share it with your friends.